Hi everyone, in this video we're going to do a expanded exercise on our picking rudiments. So by now, uh, you know, we've been doing kind of some different things. We've been doing just individual strings, getting our, our main uh, idea across, which would be um, playing quarters, eighths, sixteenths, eighths. Uh, quarters, triple it, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, and I think that's about where we're at. Anyway, um, what I'm going to propose in this particular video is uh, doing the picking pyramid with a scale position. So uh, there's a couple different ways of doing this, and let's just say we take um, uh, a pentatonic pattern, something really manageable. So if you don't know this by now, we're playing 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15. I call that pattern one in the key of G. Um, by now you should know this. If not, um, I guess I'll put links in the description below. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna pull on the met I'm gonna have the metronome playing here in a second and uh, we have two different options with this. So you can either complete the entire scale, uh, maybe like going all the way to the ceiling, and then when you hit the ceiling or the floor, depending on how you think about it, uh, then you switch the subdivision to either eights or whatever it might be. You can also strictly uh, adhere to four beats. So I'll give you two examples of that. So I'll put a bell to tell us when it's beat four. Just as a convenience. One, two, three, four. Okay. There we go. So quarters. And this is all the way through. I'm alternate picking the whole time. I've hit the ceiling. Eighth notes. I've hit the floor, sixteenths. I hit the ceiling back to eights. Hit the four quarters. Okay, I'm about to hit the ceiling. I do triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, quarters. So, what I'm doing there is making sure that I strictly alternate pick, so the rule hasn't changed. And instead of strictly changing every four beats, I'm just waiting till I complete the scale. That's gonna be a bit easier than trying to juggle um, switching every four beats. But if you're up for the challenge, here's this next beat, uh, next bit, uh, which is every four beats we change the subdivision. Three, four, so quarters. Eight. Sixteenths. So those are two different spins on the same thing and you can do this with diatonics, you can do it with harmonic, you can do it with any scale that you're working with, um, uh, even small little tiny ones as well. So the, the possibilities are kind of endless and uh, it's, it's what you make of it. So I'll do, I'll do one more example of the same thing, so maybe um, I'll do pattern 5 now. So if you don't know that one, it's uh, 10, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, 9, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. I call this one pattern five in the key of G. So I'm gonna do it for a little while. Uh, first example is gonna be uh, floor to ceiling and then switch. Okay, here we go, floor to ceiling. Quarters, eights, uh, quarters, sorry, floor to ceiling. Eight. Do this for a little while. 
just as a lesson exercise video. You can play along. Eight. Firstly, the other alternative would be to switch every four beats, so that's where this little chime will come in real handy. So we'll do the same thing, just every four beats. One, two, three, quarters. Eight. happen to be doing it with pentatonics but you can do this with any scale or anything that you're working on uh, it's just taking the same concept but making it a little bit more complex by uh, introducing a new dimension so rather than just doing a small polygon you're actually working your way through an entire scale so I'm all about compounding things and and, and uh, taking things that are isolated from each other and actually kind of stacking them together so then you're doing this two birds with one stone kind of thing most bang for your buck for your time so there you go. That is uh, the Picking Pyramid with uh, scale positions. If you like this video, subscribe, and there's more to come.